Uh, here we are back at it. Um, a little bit of wiring hell, not major. Um, you guys remember those relays that I was going to use for the Star Delta? I actually decided to use them for something totally different. Um, now that I got the uh, dual motor setup working, I want something that I could disable one motor or disable the other or have both. Um, I had originally thought of going through the high side with relays, but then you have the amps going through these and everything else, and they fail over time. Uh, I figured I'd try something different. I figured I'd try it through the actual throttle itself. Um, and what I found is you can. You can disable it through the sense wire on each controller on the fly and the controller won't uh, take off or do anything stupid like that. It'll, it'll just basically shut off and the other one will take over. So what I had to do is I had to rewire these relays because by default when they're off they're unlatched and there was double pins in there so what I did is I bent the one pin away that would latch when it's on and I ran some copper over to the pin over here so by default when they're off they're on basically latched but when they're powered up they're unlatched this way uh, each one of these is uh, a throttle front and back throttle and you can use it on a three-speed switch by default when it's in the middle that's dual motor uh, that's the front and that's the rear which I will show you I'll have to set you up without smashing my uh, recorder again but uh, let's go a couple of hours to uh, configure and then I'll tuck it all in and it'll be good to go but uh, it seems to be working so let's try it out okay hopefully you guys can see that and hear it um, I got it propped up on a chair so it can literally take off and squish me against the wall uh, okay so it's all set up basically Turn the bike on. So it's in the middle right now. And you got uh, dual motor. Flip it over. This is the rear. Flip it the other way. And there you go more control over the bike. Not bad, eh? And that's how you do dual motor control on a three-speed switch. You need a relay. So, but it works. Hey, you can't knock it. Works pretty good, actually. And the best part is the um, the relays under under any major amps, so they'll pretty much last forever. Um, even to the point where I didn't even bother uh, soldering the um, I didn't even bother soldering the wires to the, um, the relays itself. You can just pull them right off and swap them out if they go bad. But uh, the only way this works, like I said, by default when they're off, they're actually latched. Um, that's why I modded them. This way, if the three-speed three-speed switch fails or one of these fail, um, it's basically off anyway, so they're always latched. So you won't really notice the difference. You'll be able to get home. But um, this gives you more control over the motors. So it's a very low amp, low powered, three speed, well, a dual motor control through the um, uh, throttle bodies, which is kind of cool. We're going to share that. It took a couple of hours to do it and test it, and it uh, proved to be working. So later, guys.